Hey everyone, it's Lex Ariel and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you the second part of our speed build for the modern luxury house that will be going in new crest. The world should be coming out today, hopefully. Hopefully I get this uploaded <laughs> by the time this world comes out. So yeah, um, I'm excited to play in the world and just see like what it looks like and just have some fun with it and yeah i hope y'all guys enjoy this speed build and i hope y'all guys download this house tl's game um if there's a few stuff that y'all don't like about it go ahead and change it you know i don't mind y'all changing the house i do it with houses i download all the time i'm not uh finicky about people changing the house up or whatever change the house if you want to i do not mind girl i don't uh, uh, mind if you change the house, it don't even matter. <laughs> but anyways, uh, back to the house. I decided to go with this maroonish color. with, And I offset it with this tan color. And I thought it went really good. I use this color all around the house, as you can see. Usually in my speed builds, I go with like a bunch of different colors for each wall or whatever but I was like I'm gonna keep it really simple I'm just gonna go with two colors mainly and then try to you know do something different with the furniture so this is what we go with and right now I'm just adding light so I can see what I'm doing and I think we first start in the kitchen if I'm not mistaken yeah so this is um gonna be the Splat, what is this? What is that called? The splash tile? No, that's not called splash tile. The back, back splash is that what it's called <laughs> for the kitchen? Um, and then I decided to go. I you, I was first gonna go with these counters because I liked how it it uh, went with the backsplash of the tiles on the wall. But I was, but as y'all know, I got the inspiration of the house from um this modern home I saw on YouTube and I remembered the modern home had these white glossy tiles so I was like okay I have to change it to white and as you can see here we're changing the counters back to white like the modern house had which I really liked I was like okay this looks pretty 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 good right now we're gonna add some cabinets and I wanted like the cabinets to be like really big you know I wanted to make a big 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 statement so we I get rid of those cabinets <laughs> and then I add um, some all along the top which is really cool um, I don't think in real life you'll be able to get up there without a ladder but <laughs> it's the same they don't need to go up there anyway so um, we do that and then I add some refrigerators and I hate that the fridges don't connect with the counters and I had to go in and move those which took forever like oh my goodness there's so much of me holding alt in this speed build oh man <laughs> excuse me guys <laughs> there's so much of me holding alt in this speed build it's ridiculous so um I think we're gonna finish up with the counters now and yeah oh guys one thing uh I don't know if y'all heard, but The Sims is coming out with another stuff pack, which is going to be like an outdoor barbecue patio set. And I'm so excited because hot tubs are coming out. Yay. I love the hot tubs in The Sims full and The Sims franchise practically. I hope they bring back, you know, all like the the cuddling and like the making out I can't wait to see what they do with it because they said something in like the article I was reading I wish I had it up but they said something about it hold on let me see if I can pull this up real quick okay guys so I found it and they said um, we wanted to make sure that hot tubs in the Sims 4 were the best in this series and we think and your Sims Okay, and that's in parentheses. <laughs> and your Sims is in parentheses. Are going to love them. The Sims 4 Perfect Patio stuff has that much and more. Wait, that and more. Hey, wait. Oh, Lord Jesus, I can't read. <laughs> it has that and much more. So, hopefully, the hot tubs have, you know, a lot of content, you know, a lot of interactions, I mean. 
just stuff that we can play around with, you know? I'm excited. I hope y'all guys are too, because I'm totally going to be buying it. I'm a sucker for new Sims content, y'all content, know that. So anyways, um, right now we're adding more stuff to the kitchen just to make it more lived in. Um, I, there is a couple of custom content items, mainly paintings that I use in this house. I will link them all in the description. If you don't want the paintings, it's not a big deal. It's not going to affect the house at all, really. Um, I just have some scattered here and there. You can easily replace them with the uh, game paintings if you don't like custom content. So, yeah. And, uh, but I will be linking them in the description if you do want the paintings. Like these, uh, blackboard chalk paintings are up there. I love those, guys. I use those in my, uh, Let's Play house. I just love them so much. So, next we are doing this little side area, which took me forever to figure out what I wanted to do with it. But I finally got it down in the end but as you can see here I'm about to go through like a bunch of statues because I wanted like a big statue to go on the side you know so I'm just picking some out I really liked it this one but it just went too big like I wish they <laughs> some of these things didn't go so big you know but hey what can you do what can you do so I go through all these trophies make them bigger I love making that one big but it just didn't go with the house you know so in the end I think I go with um and I love doing y'all know I love put, putting that uh woman's body up that big but I don't want it to go in the kitchen I do use it later on in the house so I just went with these vases or whatever you want to call them I don't know what you would call them but I went with those so yeah and then I think next we move on to the dining room yes we are it took me a while to figure out like what I wanted to do for the dining room it, <laughs> this part was cut <laughs> let's just say that but I finally chose um, what I wanted to do and um, it might seem like the chairs are really close to the walls but I did play test this and see how you can see like it's really close but I did play test it and the Sims can easily sit there. They can walk around it. They can walk and sit in any of these chairs. They can do it. So yeah, so it does work perfectly in your game. Right now I was using a green color, but I didn't want that color throughout the house. I didn't like how the green looked. So I go with like this blue color and this blue color will be mixed throughout the house with the maroon and the black maroon black and like a navy blue as you can see like these flowers those are the colors that I use throughout the house and everywhere pretty much like it's a common theme you know I didn't want to put too much into it like I said before so these are the colors I use and right now I'm just messing with the flowers because I was trying to make it center I couldn't just plop them on the table because it wouldn't have been center between the two tables so I use the um move objects on sheets so I can raise them up and now I'm just trying to figure out where they would go in a table without snapping the table so I had to move the tables out the way so right now I think we are finishing up with this yeah we put that together and I think we changed the colors of the chairs in a second and any second how oh no we don't <laughs> I have this side apart because to make it even which makes it look better in the end I think so but yeah so I think next yeah we add paintings and stuff there's a lot of paintings in this house just to warn you I don't know it's like without paintings the house looks so boring it looks so bland I'm just like oh my goodness like there's <laughs> there has to be paintings in like all my sims houses like if there's not any then it's just like oh okay this is not gonna work out <laughs> okay so right now we're putting down my infamous rug if you don't know I love this rug and I put it in all my houses in the sims 3 this is probably the best rug I've seen in like any of the sims games like I really 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 like this rug like the pattern of it and the colors of it are just gorgeous 
gorgeous gorgeous gorgeous and now we are doing the front sitting area which i add more blue uh you will see that blue is spread out a lot when i say that i use blue a lot i use blue a lot but it's just i'm just warning you <laughs> oh oh and um just a reminder i am taking sims for um sophia's wedding so if you want to have your sims in the video for sophia's wedding then upload them to the gallery with the hashtag sophia's wedding and you can use alexis ariel gaming either one you can use both it doesn't matter i'm going to look at both of them when it comes time to putting them in the game so if you want to put your sims in there then go ahead and oh lord then go ahead and hashtag them with the two hashtags i will have it in the uh i'll make a comment and you can so you can see which hashtags or how i set it up so yeah i think it's gonna be really cool to have y'all sims in like the little video i think it'll be awesome so if you want to do it go ahead and hashtag i need a lot of sims why well, don't need I, I don't need a lot i'm gonna try to use as many as i can you know so it could be very interesting to see what kind of sims y'all are going to put up. Like I'm excited. Like I hope y'all upload a lot, you know, so I can go on. Oh, and just, I just want to say that um, if you do use custom content, I happen to don't use it. I might change up their looks a little bit. Not too much you know i'm not gonna change them up too much just i might change like their clothes if i don't have what you put on them you can upload us in with custom content you know i, I would try to find uh whatever you put them in but if i don't then i will put my own custom content on there i'm gonna make them look beautiful regardless if you make an ugly sim then i'm gonna make them look ugly <laughs> If you intentionally make an ugly sim, maybe I should say that, then I will follow what you put. You know, I'm going to try to make them as close to how you put them as possible, you know? So, yeah, if you want to upload them, go ahead and hash put, that hashtag, put those hashtags in the description. And I will download them to my game and you will see them in a future Let's Play. <laughs> Okay, but now we are doing the living room, and I decided to um, overlap these side tables, which looked really cool. It looks like a real, like, entertainment center, and here, I think I used some custom content paintings that, yeah, I used these, which will be in the description, as I stated before, so I used these to just create, like, a collage of paintings around this TV. I, di I didn't want it to just be, like, a regular old TV you know so I put a bunch of paintings around it which make it look really cool it makes it look it makes it pop you know and I love these jazz paintings I think I use these jazz paintings in like all my houses guys because they're really cool and they go they go really well with the blue that I use throughout the house and it goes really well with the maroon that I use throughout the house so right now I'm putting couches down I was gonna go with that pink couch but I was like oh lord Jesus no <laughs> I can't do it so uh, we go with a blue one of course and then we just add these two smaller couches on the side which looks really good and I changed one of them I did I did do the colors weird um, I just left one couch black, which I really liked. It was different, you know, instead of doing like two one color and like the other one, the blue color. I was like, well, maybe I should just leave one black. And here we go. We're adding some, just some uh, knickknacks on the entertainment center. Um, I wish those gems that came with the Sims Store that you get when you uh, open boxes. I wish, I don't know if you can, if you can add like the cushions to it, like how the Sims 3, when you got a gem, you can add like the cushion under it. I don't know if you can do that. If you can, let me know <laughs> because I don't think I've ever seen it or if I ever tried. But if you can, please let me know because that like to know <laughs> so um we're adding stuff here and there and of course here's my big statue i told y'all i was gonna put this in this in this uh house y'all i love this statue so much and i make it big every time i use it because i think it just looks awesome like i would love to have that in my house you know in my future home 
when I get out of school. And that's another reason if I don't upload a lot, it's I'm transferring schools right now. So, and like the school I was going to before, it's not as big and it's not as prestigious as the one I'm going to now. So I have to do a lot of stuff to get into the school and I also changed my major so it's just a lot right now because <laughs> I have to take these tests I'm going into computer science now so yeah. it's just a lot I have to do so if I don't upload a lot I do apologize I'm trying to you know upload at least twice or three times a week now but I just have to do like I have orientation to go to like it's just a bunch you know so anyways, here I go adding these plants, which I love. I think it goes perfect with the maroon color, y'all. <laughs> I think it goes perfectly with it. It looks awesome. I love those plants. And next, what are we doing now? Oh, we're adding lights. I'm deleting the ones that I was just using so I could see. And we're going to add the official lights for this house right now so i go with this cool chandelier that came with get to work for the di dining room excuse me i'm sorry <laughs> and then i go with this panel from i use all of the um expansion pack stuff packs that are out in the sims 4 in the houses um so if you don't have it i'm sorry you can just replace it with something else it's easy you know so these these lights that i'm putting on now this these lights go throughout the whole house and i just love the way it looks it gives it like the glam look you know like a, a celebrity house like i love the way these lights look i put them every single wear guys i use them everywhere when i say everywhere i use them everywhere and i love how it looks on this wall with the plants on them like i love how it looks on the wall <clears throat> it's a good feature like if you ever want to put some lights in y'all's house y'all gotta use the lights like that so um right now i am fixing the walls up for the upstairs bedrooms and this one on the side is going to be a teen bedroom and this one we're doing now is going to be a um the master the master bedroom and i was gonna go with this blue color but i didn't like it i felt like it didn't fit the house like i was going with this maroon theme so i was like well let me try something different for the bedroom let me make it blue with maroon furniture but i couldn't really find any so i'm with gray it's just a, <laughs> it's just a lot i was like this does not go with this house at all so i do eventually change the blue color to back to the maroon color that we were using all throughout the house you know so yeah and it i think it looks 10 times better with the maroon color you'll see because i add furniture the same furniture that i'm using now like it stays in the house I just it stays in this room but I just change the colors of the wall and you can tell that it just looks better with the maroon wallpaper that I use so right now we're doing like a little sitting area I add like a bookshelf so your sims can come over here and sit and relax in peace and look out the big windows I love using these big windows in my house also <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I keep saying how much I love this, I love this, I love this. Like, I just like building. Even though I'm not that good of a builder, I love it. Like, I love furnishing houses. Like, I love seeing, like, just how stuff comes out in the end, you know? And, oh my gosh, like, what is that noise? If y'all hear, like, a rumbling sound in the background, I do apologize. I have no clue what that is. It doesn't sound like a lawnmower. It sounds like it's, like, a truck or something. And it is freaking annoying out of all days you want to turn on a truck now. I have no clue where it is. But if y'all do hear it, I do apologize. But any, oh my goodness, people keep calling me. <laughs> but anyways, um, right now I'm just adding the bookshelves and all that. And over here, I delete this door that was going to go to the balcony from the master bedroom. And I add this mirror and I love this. I think it looks so cool. And I put the lights on the side of it as you can see and it's like isn't that awesome like i think that is so pretty <laughs> i was like oh my gosh like 
this looks really cool like I would love to have that in my house there I go again with that with love <laughs> and so here I go I add a rug under the bed so it can have its own like you know it seems like its own area you know I think it looks awesome the black goes good with it and here I'm just gonna add some lights and I think after I add the lights we move on to the master bathroom and I was gonna do like this chandelier type deal with these lights but it was too bright like I hate that and the Sims 3 it had that bad if you was to add like too much light to an area it just looked horrible guys <laughs> it looked so bad like you couldn't even see what sh <laughs> the item that with the lights were sitting over like it was just like bad I was like oh my gosh like why is this so bright <laughs> But anyways, here we go adding the counters to the bathroom. I go with these black counters in this front area We have um, just the sinks and stuff and on the side area. We have the tub and the toilet I don't add a shower to this bathroom because I wanted the sims to be able to you know to look out Through the windows and like see why they're taking a bath, you know, so that's what we do and I was gonna add a towel over the toilet, but it looked too weird. Like it looked bulky, cause I usually do this. But I was like, nah, that just looks, nah. <laughs> and here you go, continuing on <laughs> with the bathroom. And I add some more mirrors. So your Sims do not have to complain about not being able to see themselves because there's plenty of mirrors in this house practically <laughs> and there's plenty of lights you know so they can't complain about not being able to see you know <laughs> but here we go finishing up the bathroom I add some flowers and I think I had a rug and that's about it so yeah oh no that isn't about it <laughs> we had some decor items around I add some paintings just to make it look lived in make it look homey make it look awesome oh one thing um i want to start building a lot more stuff so if y'all have requests for me to build anything like you know bakeries like a store um a park a club anything i want to be able to try it so y'all just let me know what y'all want me to build and I will try to do it. I'll try to do a speed build or I'll try to do a let's build. It doesn't matter. Um, just let me know. I want to build something that y'all want to see, you know? So if y'all give me ideas, I should be able to do it. And I will hopefully do it right for y'all guys. Okay, so right now we are doing the second bedroom which is going to be a girl's room you can use about any age you want to if you wanted to do like a little girl's room then it would work if you wanted to do a teenage girl's room it would work um it's really hard for me to do kids bedrooms like I don't like to do like the mitchy matchy stuff I think that's like not real enough for me <laughs> I know it's a game but you know in real life my room was never I didn't have like matchy matchy stuff you know like every now and then you know you get something new you get something new you'll put in your room you know and it was never like this clean pristine room so when I do build when I build kids room in the sims 4 it's not you know I try to make it messy you know because that's how my room was it wasn't dirty but it wasn't like it wasn't stuff put here let me put this perfectly on the shelf and let me put this bear right in this corner and make it look perfect no it was like let me put this bear over here let me put this toy box over here oh I got me a new dollhouse let me put this right here you know <laughs> so I like to throw random stuff in the kids bedroom when I try to make it you know so I hope y'all like y'all like it. If y'all don't, you know what I say. You can go ahead and change it. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, but anyways, I'm gonna stop singing, and we're gonna continue on with this team bedroom. I'm almost done. I'm just adding a couple of paintings, and um, yeah, and posters, and make it look awesome. So yeah, and I think next we move on to the foyer area. Oh no, we do this office. Yeah, I did make this a little office space. You can easily build a wall there and make it like a third bedroom, you know? So yeah. And um, 
I do. It's just a small little office ad. Of course, I add the lights. I think this looks really cool. I like how that looked. And uh, of course, I add a big painting, you know. <laughs> It wouldn't be me if I didn't add that type of stuff. Now what it? No. Okay, so now um you know, we move on to this bathroom that the uh, teen I guess can use. Its own bathroom. Not uh, that's a teen. This girl can use. I keep saying teen when <laughs> it's supposed to be a just a girl's bedroom. You can have a teen or a child in there. So anyways, back to the bathroom. Here we go, adding a sink. It's very simple. I don't do too much in here, you know. I just add mirrors, you know, painting. And of course, I add my infamous lights. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> here we go. I think we're about to finish up with this bedroom. As you can see, I probably am tired of talking by now. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. I'm kind of rambling on so excuse me if um, <coughs> It sounds like I'm just you know Rambling cuz I am you know Let's just move right along you know to the I keep saying you know that's the word of this video. I guess so <laughs> Hey that rhymes okay, so we're moving on to the foyer for your area not this is not the foyer This is the landing the den I guess you can call it a den. This is the den area. I was going to add these lights, but it was like, oh my goodness, this is too much. <laughs> so I end up deleting the lights eventually, and I just add some paintings there. It does look cool, me looking at it, but like, yeah, it, it was too much. It was too much. So I'll end up deleting it in a second. You'll see. Yeah. So. I add this cool light. Like, I love that light that came with luxury party stuff. It looks really, really awesome. I love how it looks. So I add that light and then some more paintings. And I think we move outside after this. Um, soon enough, we're moving along. Here we go. So now we're outside. I do this pretty little patio set with this maroon color. I'm bringing the color outside. I'm bringing the house colors outside. And um, yeah, we just add this patio set, we add a park bench, and then we add a art easel for your Sims to paint. And they can look out onto the world, the beautiful Sims 4 world, while they're painting right there. <laughs> As you can see, and here I am recoloring it and all that jazz. And um, one thing I want to say is I'm getting <laughs> gaining some subscribers really quick. Um, I would like to put out a thank you vid very soon, but every time I do it, like I gain <laughs> a bunch of subscribers. I just want to say thank y'all guys. Um, I've, I'm so glad that y'all are subscribing. I'm so glad that y'all are liking my content. Like y'all are cool. Like I feel like y'all are friends with friends for me, you know? Like I mean, I have friends. I sound lonely, <laughs> but it's just different with y'all and I just want to say thank you. I was a little skeptical skeptic about coming into this YouTube thing. You know, people not really enjoying my videos. But I I, I like the positive feedback y'all give me and it just makes me and motivates me to move on. So I just wanna say thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> but anyways, here we are doing the outside. I had this cool little fire pit over here. And I think it would be awesome, even though I put it behind the fence, if y'all put it in front of the fence, like on the outside of the house, I think that would be even awesomer. So just an idea. I don't implement it in the house, but if you do download it, you should try it. And here I go, just adding knickknacks everywhere. And I do end up changing the backyard. Y'all will see that in the screenshots. And yeah, and right now I'm just um, fixing up the front for your area. And I think we're pretty much done after this, you know, just adding some lights, making it more um, beautiful, you know? You know, so here we go adding some plants and stuff. Actually, we don't go, to, actually, I think next we do the uh, lights on the outside, which of course, you know, I had to add my uh, pool lights <laughs> all around the house, which I think looks pretty, pretty, pretty dope, you know? So here we go. We're starting to add all the lights around the house. I pretty much put them everywhere, on the side, on the back, on the ground. I pretty much put them all throughout the house. 
are all outside of the house which I think looks pretty cool it lights up the house really well too and it gives it just a, a nice glow to it you know so as you can see I'm adding more lights and I think we're pretty much done now we should be jumping to screenshots after I put these floor lights down so yeah hopefully I think we're done and three two one yeah <laughs> so guys this is our finished house build as you can see we're circling around the house with some screenshots and I really like this house I am like surprised how it turned out like I think it turned out really good and I love it and I hope y'all guys like it too you know so here is a zoomed in picture of the fountain we made and here is the door area nice and clean and here is our foyer with our paintings I love that that foyer area is really cool and here's our dining room as you can see with our big big table just a reminder sims can go around it so yeah here's our kitchen nice and clean oh I love those paintings I remember I put those in the description if you want to download the paintings for the house and here we go with our living area with more of our paintings <laughs> and I forgot to do this house this bathroom completely until I was taking screenshots so there's the bathroom that was downstairs by the living room area and here we go with the uh, den area I guess you want to call it and then a bathroom and then next we move on to the little girls room it's nice and lived in that's like the word that that I wanted to use lived in here's our master bedroom which I really like I think it looks really cool and pretty and the master bath I love that blue rug I think that rug's pretty awesome I should use it throughout the house more <laughs> just not in the bathrooms here's our outside patio and then our downstairs patio as you can see I added some fountains to the pool area and yeah I think it looks really awesome so I think that's pretty much it if you would like to download the house go to my gap go to the gallery type in Alexa Zerio gaming and sh you should be able to find the house in all the other houses I did all the sims I've made and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're new here go ahead and subscribe and like and comment and do all that stuff <laughs> I will see y'all guys later bye bye